Good day, good day. It's day 22. Yes, day 22. <laughs> it is day 22. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I just, day 21, day 20, day 23, I mean, kind of just going with it. It's, it's tough when you're, it's not tough, it's just um, you kind of get the days mixed up when you're doing this every day. So even though I have a couple notes and, and such to keep me on track, sometimes I don't have them up and, uh, and I forget what day I'm at, but it is day 22 on top 10 for 30 here. And um, I want to, you know, just acknowledge the last few days last few weeks actually, but particularly in the last um, few days, if you did catch um, my day 20 and day 21 on change and, um, you know, what that looks like for everyone and, you know, what, what we say about it and, and really that accountability piece, right, on, on, how we're feeling and the disconnection on how we're feeling numb sometimes when we think that we're doing the things we think that we're doing the best and we you know that's all we can really do here but we're we're quite hard on ourselves and you know we're always kind of looking for the next fix we're always looking for some relief we're looking for um you know we're we're always running for something and that that can get quite exhausting in itself and that alone can be a, a default thought loop of always trying to get the next best thing always trying to level up and by all means there's absolutely um value in this because i think we should always be you know moving forward and being the best that that we can be with, with, you know, our purpose and, and ourselves, ultimately, there's always something that comes up um, to say, you know what, I want to work on this, or but we have goals, we have, I mean, December's, we're mid-December here, depending on where you're watching it, but, you know, the new year is coming up, so we have those goals, and I think it's important to have goals, I think it's important to have desires um, but what I kind of want to touch on today is, you know, what are you telling yourself about these goals? What are you telling yourself about these desires? And although there is value in leveling up, being promoted, challenging yourself, doing the hard things, I think that's momentum. I think that's uh, evolution. I think that um that's that's part of this right we're we're here for the experiences and our souls and spirits crave um crave these lessons but there is a fine line there and and when i do you know chime in with with the collective and and with clients myself um, at times, many times, that comes with the tone of lack, comes with, um, with I don't have and I want. Um, and, and a lot of times that comes with, with guilt, with shame, uh, jealousy, envy. And um, those are low vibes, right? They don't feel very good, that comparison, or, you know, we compare to others, we can, you know, and that by all means, um, if we can look at, you know, that jealousy piece just coming up for me here and look at that when you're envying someone and jealous of someone, that the resentments could start, right? And that, and that jealousy does not feel good. Jealousy comes with a whole bunch of layers of low vibes, really, in general. And if we can look at that and, 
turn it, you know, to inspiration as, you know, this person has what I desire and I'm inspired by what they have. So even just that simplest switch, the, the, your energies change, your message to yourself changes, your message to others change. And what that does is if you kind of lean in instead of avoiding, because a lot of times when we're jealous about the things that we don't have yet, or what we're telling ourselves about the things that we can't do, or we don't have, like I mentioned, or we can't be this. Um, it keeps you stuck. Okay. It does. It definitely keeps you stuck. And if we can lean into it and um, look at the people that have accomplished what we desire, we're going to open up that opportunity to learn. And we then go from jealousy to being inspired and, and using their examples as um, something to thrive towards. And that's not, that's not a bad thing um, because we always make it our own. Of course, we have our own, we have our own desires and, and values and beliefs and we, we although the topic or, or the de desire may be similar, you're going to put a little twist to it anyways, but if we can look at leaning in and inspiring that person or that opportunity may really come and lean in to with you. Um, and you'd be surprised what, what you can, what you can learn and what opportunities then, you know, come into your field. Um, so we do many of us, uh, many of us do get get stuck in that that default loop, and what you say to yourself is is important. And if you're saying that I can't have this because this happened to me, or um, or uh, because of these experiences, you know, I'm opportunities never, never um, are offered to me or, or I, I'm, you know, I've got bad luck or things like that don't happen to me. And this is, this is what, you know, I'll always work, you know, I'll always be at this level. Um, good things don't happen to me. You know, I can't have this until I have this amount in my bank account. Um, I am not accomplishing this desire, this goal, because this happened to me. And so when you're reflecting on your goals, because we all have them, uh, chime in with that. Chime in with your, when you don't accomplish them or a year has gone by or two years, depending on what the goal is and, and, and the process of that. But Check in with yourself within the last months, years, weeks, short-term goals, long-term goals, and, and kind of do an inventory, a goal inventory of what you've accomplished. First of all, that's important. Of course, we've, there's many things that you can tap into that you've accomplished. This is going to be a motivator. But the things that you haven't, um, that you've been kind of stuck in, what are you, again, it's that accountability piece, right, of, of what that mindset is, but what are you saying to yourself about, about these goals? And if you are recognizing that you are actually blaming something outside of yourself, um, then that's something to look at. It's an opportunity to, to look at. And many times when we're not succeeding, success is different for everyone. It's a very broad, a broad term. Um, but if we are not meeting our own um, needs, a lot of times, of course, those expectations come from outside of ourselves. Um, but that when you sit in the vibration of lack, um, 
that you get more of it. You get more of that lack. All right. And also, this is a big part as well. Um, Self-worth. Okay. I am not worthy to have these things. Okay, this has a lot, this is embedded a lot of, a lot of us with our upbringing. And many times we, we spend on everyone else, we seek for everyone else. And that really comes down to self-worth, self-love, self-value. Do you value yourself enough? Do you think you're worth it? What? What are those stories that you kind of need to put aside that have been ingrained in that subconscious per se? So it's time to get that vulnerability piece that I spoke of involved and start looking at the actions to take today to get the ball rolling on the things that you desire. All right. So awareness is going to be first is, wow, I'm actually, I have been telling myself that story and that that false belief has been, has been quite um, playing out. It's been quite frequent in my thought loop and I didn't even realize that I was doing it. And so that, again, that sets, uh, sets the tone. That sets the tone for your opportunities and it sets the tone for life experiences. All right. So, and, and once you look at the things that are possible for you that are already here you just have to open up open yourself up you have to close one door of you can't have two um two um you know stories going on at at once here you can't have both you can't say say to yourself that i can't have this because of this and then it come into your field um, with ease per se. It just doesn't work like that. It, it really doesn't because you're on the path of lack. You're on the path of, of can't, can't do, can't have, can't be. And so once you acknowledge it and shut the door, to that belief system and, and start shifting to, I will, I can, I have, I am. Um, and we get so much in our heads of how to do it. By all means, goals are important. Process is important. important. Action is key. You, I mean, we can manifest all we want, we can want, we can talk. It starts with the belief, absolutely. But then what happens is we set up that belief system. We, we um, really authentically, intuitively know that we can have the things that we want. And then of course that action piece has to, has to follow suit. So what do you need to be vulnerable in? taking accountabilities first, making sure that, that you know where it comes from and then releasing, you know, starting the process to, re to release these stories, these myths per se that you've been telling yourself, okay? Um, but this is a fun piece. I get, I, I get into this, of course, with, with my programming and um, even I do, I do all my work with my clients, of course. They inspire the the um much of the the programming that i've that i've created and developed here but they don't even know they're doing it and once they do set up the goals and then we do set those micro goals you know that head chatter starts and so if we can shift we can shift that you know things start to we don't have all the answers we don't have to we don't know exactly what it's going to look like. But once we start um, quieting that ego and um, making up the excuses and justifications of why you can't have what you want, 
it's, you know, it gets exhausting, does it not? If you can relate with this, if this resonates with you, doesn't it, doesn't this get exhausting? Okay, it might be uh, something to take. This might resonate, uh, I'm sure it does resonate with many. And um, start shifting that mindset. Okay, chime in, chime in with this today. And uh, start getting the ball rolling on the, the things that, that you want in life. You deserve them and you can have them. Anything, anything is possible. And if you're uh, making excuses, if you're doing the justifications, if you're saying, you know, because of my upbringing, because of what I've seen, because of this, because of that, there's your, there it is. There it is. Okay. You can change the story. You can, you can change the scene. You can start changing that with these little things. Okay. So have a great day. And I'm sending all the love and all the light to you. And uh, thank you for sticking with me here. And uh, I'll see you on, on day 23. Okay. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.